Hello friends, my name is Knight, and welcome to the Watson Scott test. I wasn't going to play this. I wasn't going to play this. But now I'm playing it. And it's daytime. I can't imagine playing this at night, but I've got full view of everything around me. I know that nobody's here. I, I, I can see behind me with my computer screen, so... And it's stage time, and we're playing this. Welcome to the Watson Scott test. <coughs> Pardon me. This test is designed, I'm gonna go crazy with this text speed, is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Kitten, you might wanna get off my lap. For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. <sighs> At the end of your examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation. Why am I doing this? <coughs> Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to onset of the total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. Do you wish to continue? Not really, actually. If I have a heart attack, you guys know why. Why am I doing this? Firstly, some calibration questions. <coughs> what color is the sky during the day? Blue. Technically clear and it's reflected blue, but we're not going to get into that. If I have one apple and you give me two apples, how many apples do I have? Three apples. Infinity apples. Apples for everybody. Are you playing a game right now? Yes. I am very aware that this is a game. Are you sure it's a game? Not anymore. Yes. Unless you start fucking with the files on my computer. Ah! Files on my computer, then we might have problems. Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. I wish my sister was here. It's raining outside and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. You feel ugh, guilty and disgusted. Uh, there's a knock at your door. You open it to find an old woman in tattered clothes. She says she's being chased and wants to hide inside your house. Home. You. Quickly invite her inside. I've got plenty of weapons here. You're at a farm. You make Eye contact with the cow in the field. Ah, Jesus Christ. The farmer says its name is Samuel. <laughs> That's my brother's name. It's dinner time, and the farmer serves you a plate of ribeye steak. You thank the farmer for the meal, say nothing, stab the farmer with your knife, politely request a vegan option. I thank the farmer. Circle of life. I mean, I feel really bad for the cow. But being that he's on a farm and he's out in the field, he had probably had a good life. And the steak is going to be delicious. Thank the farmer for the meal. <coughs> I will now show you an image. Please study it. Can I not? The image will not move. Why do you have to say the image won't move? Oh, 
Oh, that's some trippy shit. <coughs> There's an eye. There's, what is that? Teeth. Some guy over there. How did the image make you feel? Um, motivated, afraid, uneasy, violent. Nothing. Do you believe in ghosts? Undecided. I do, but I'm not sure. Have you ever seen a ghost? No, I have not. Ghosts are invisible. No. Thinking about the room you're in right now. Has anyone ever died here? Not that I know of. It's very possible. I think someone died in the apartment downstairs. I don't know. Not yet. Hmm. Quite unique. Answers so far. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. <coughs> I need some ramen. I often think about where my hands are and what they're touching. Yes, actually, I do. I don't strongly agree because I, I don't really think about it a lot, but I fiddle with my... <sighs> I fiddle with my hands a lot. God damn it. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. Agree. I do more than what is expected of me. I try very hard to do what, more than what is expected of me. Because I like, I, I, I have, feel like I have stuff to prove. If the power went out at my house, I would think nothing of it. And not assume that someone was breaking in with the intent of murdering me. Actually, yes, because I live in a bad place, so yeah. I, I don't think someone's going to break in and murder me if the power went out at my house. I live in an apartment. There is an uninspected guest in my house. Nope, I can see everything, and my cats would freak out. Nobody would know if I went missing. I strongly disagree with that. My boyfriend would flip the fuck out. So would my sister and my brother. Actually, a lot of people, now that I think about it. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. Okay, I really, really, really like poetry, but I don't think any form of artistic expression is any better than any other. So I'm going to disagree with that. You need an attitude readjustment. Well, fuck you, too. I've designed a new al uh, algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Okay. Let me demonstrate. Go right ahead. <coughs> Roses are red. Silent is a mouse. Your door is unlocked. Yes, it is. I'm inside your house. Nope, because I can see that you haven't come in. Even if you were in my brother's bedroom, I would have heard you. Congratulations. Ah, only 41% of participants typically reach this point in their examination. Okay. From now on, the questions will be much more intense because they weren't already. Do you wish to continue? Not really, but I will. How far away is the closest police station? I actually don't know. I want to say it's more than a 15 minute walk. But honestly, I've got so many weapons in here, I do not even give a fuck where the police station is. How well do you know your neighbors? Uh, we're acquaintances. I know them well enough. Compared to the average adult, how fast can you run? 
probably about average. Imagine you've finished this test and you're lying in bed tonight. Mm -hmm. Attempting to sleep. All right. You understand that I'm inside your house. Okay. And you hear me underneath your bed. Good luck with that. You. Get up and look under the bed. I stab you in the eye. Try to pretend you can't hear me or feel my presence. But then I stab you in the eye. Fall asleep no knowing you'll wake up to me uh, stabbing you in the eye. Uh, I'll get up and look under the bed. God damn it. I'll get up and look under the bed. I, I've got weapons. I'll probably come at you with the weapon. I just want to let you know. Just so you know, Test, I have a lot of weapons. In fact, I've got a fork right here. Like, I will kill you with the fork. An attacker is holding a man at gunpoint 50 feet away and threatens to kill him if you move closer. You're armed with a single shot muzzle loading percussion cap pistol. I don't know what that means, but I'll assume it's a one shot gun which is not accurate enough to hit the attacker from where you are standing. <clears throat> do you take the shot anyway, put your gun down and tip to negotiate, do nothing but wait, scream passages from Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book beginning with the phrase, death in the garden lies <laughs> dead, then shoot yourself in the head. I'll put the gun down and negotiate. I'm a pretty good negotiator, or I'd like to say. I will now show you an image. Will the image move? Please study it. The image will not speak. Okay. Oh, spiders. This is really pretty. Kind of weird and creepy, but pretty. Why would spiders be speaking? And who the fuck is screaming in the background? Thinking about the image, which phrase best describes you? I am the redness. I am the spider's eye. I am the legs. I am the fear. I am nothing. I am the redness. Whatever that means. I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game? Yes, unless you fuck with my files, I am very aware I'm playing a game. <clears throat> Do you know that I'm a good person? No, I don't know who you are. Are you lying to me right now? No. Lying is forbidden. Those noises. Please select any of the following sports that you have played. Um, not professionally, but I did do some Muay Thai. Good at, I'm pretty decent at Muay Thai. Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience in with. Yeah, no, I don't have any actual training. <laughs> Secret Service. Cool. Do you think I can tell when you're lying? No. No. I'm on a computer game. What is the next number in the following sequence? I think my heart is frozen. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm inside your house. Yeah, sure you are. Your recent answers indicate that you're exhibiting a fight or flight response. Yeah. I may be at risk of an acute stress reaction. Yeah, I, I could believe that. I need you to breathe slowly and calm down. <sighs> okay. Only when you are calm. All right. I think I'm much calmer. Okay. Please take a moment to look away from your screen monitor and observe the nearest exit. Make sure 
You could run if something were to happen. Yep. Do this now. Right over there. Now. Right there. Did you look away from your screen? Yes. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. Do you think... God damn it, motherfucker. I can tell when you look away from your screen. Um... Maybe. Do you feel safe inside your house right now? I'm unsure. Are you having fun? Ugh. I think so. I know when you're lying to me. Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. But I have a cat. Kitty, kitty. There are no unexpected guests in your house. There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. No, there's not. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Yeah, I'll try. Liar. Do you understand? Yes. Don't move or you die. Music can help us all relax. I don't... Singing is relaxing. Every night when I go out, the monkey's on the table. Take a stick and knock it off. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Nope, that is not true. I would love to see someone try. I am actually most afraid of deep, dark oceans and drowning. Just in case you're, you, you guys are curious. Main test is complete. There's a bonus test available. Would you like to take it? Not now. Maybe another time. Okay. I'll be waiting. I'm sure you will. Goodbye. I am so done with that. No, I am so, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy I did that. <laughs> not happy at all. Uh, there's stuff on my glasses. I'm gonna go make me some ramen, maybe some tea. I wanted to drink the rest of my coffee, but my coffee isn't good anymore. It's kind of gross. So sad. Uh, pet my kitty. Kitty. Mm, kitty, kitty. Oh. Fucking kitty. Alright, well, I'm gonna end that episode there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Nat signing out. Bye!